Hey, how's everyone doing there tonight? This is Cult Flix Fix 24 back with a video. Hope everyone's doing well out there. It's going to be a haul video. I did receive some stuff through the mail here I wanted to share with you guys. Got a few additions in, a pretty good pile. So um, everyone sit back, relax, enjoy, and let's get this started. So first off, I got from Diabolic DVD, a uh, suburban Sasquatch. Uh, this was recommended to me by Christian from Christian's Hobby Blog. And he's a big fan of this film, so he... He was telling me to pick it up, so I did. It comes with a slip cover. Um, I did watch this last night, and I had a blast with it. It's really low budget, but it's still a lot of fun. I just, uh, I was laughing out loud several times throughout this film, and I just thought it was entertaining for its budget and everything. It's done pretty solid. You do got some pretty bad CGI and stuff like that, but it's entertaining. There's the back. Yeah, it's Suburban Sasquatch from Visual Vengeance. Pretty good time with that one next up i picked this up from i got this at walmart actually a uh, black phone i did see this i rented it before and i decided to pick up a copy i really enjoyed it it's a pretty solid film uh, my favorite still is uh sinister though that's my favorite but this one wasn't bad it's was, it was pretty good came with a slip cover so uh, same art there there is a digital code there first come first serve there you go but yeah this one was pretty good but i'm still i still uh think sinister is better in my opinion but yeah there's black phone next up i picked this up from uh dark force entertainment hard rock nightmare i watched this on a uh, shutter a few days ago and i really enjoyed it so i decided to get myself a copy and i'm hearing that this transfer is pretty good too this is just 80s cheese, man. It has that horrible acting, and but it, it's a good movie, man. It kept me entertained, and I like the the twist towards the end. I thought it was done pretty good, but it has a lot of good rock music in here and 80s nostalgia throughout it. Pretty good looking, cool looking uh, creature right there. But yeah, this one was just a blast. It's one to turn off your brain and just enjoy. That's Hard Rock Nightmare from Dark Force Entertainment. Next up, we got another Diabolic DVD pickup. Uh, I picked up Creature from Black Lake. I love this art on the slipcover. Uh, I haven't seen this film. I've seen The Legend of Boggy, Boggy Creek. And that one was pretty fun, but this one looked pretty cool. I just love the slipcover art. This is from uh, Synapse. It does come with a black case, and there's some alternate art as well. It's from the 70s. Uh, yeah, I'm interested in this one, because I, I did enjoy Legend of Boggy, Boggy Creek. And there's the disc, comes with the catalog. Real nice addition from Synapse. It's a creature from Black Lake. There's another look at that art, real awesome. All right, next up we're gonna get into some 4Ks here. Um, I got this from uh, Scream Factory. I picked up Cat People. I've heard mixed reviews on this film. Um, I'm interested in it, because I've never seen it. Didn't own a copy. Came with a slip cover and it does come with alternate art as well. They should be doing these with every edition. I don't know why they don't. But yeah, you got Malcolm McDowell, John Hurd, Natasha Kinski. Just the back. Curious about this film. Get the 4K Ultra HD as well as the Blu-ray. Trying to collect these screen factories now. The 4K, that's Cat People. Next up. I just got this one actually in today. Funhouse 4K from Scream Factory. Love this movie. This is probably my second favorite Toby Hooper film next to TCM. It come with a slip cover. I can't wait to check this, the transfer out on this one. It's one of my favorites. And it did come with alternate art as well. I like that art. Oh, cool. And the back. Got some new special features with this one as well. And there's the Blu-ray. 4K Ultra HD. Yeah, Funhouse, uh, one of my favorite films of, from Hooper. Can't wait to revisit this one and check out the transfer. 4K from Screen Factory. Yeah. Now we're going to get into my Vinegar Syndrome package. I'll start off with the Vinegar Syndromes and uh, I'll make my way down to the partner labels. So um, I'm going to start with this first. This is the VSA. I just got a Announced a while back, I picked this up, Unmasking the Idol. 
It's a back art, pretty nice. This looked like like an oddball type of film, but fun martial art film. I didn't open this up yet. It's still in the plastic, but usually has the same art it does on the slip boxes. This is from Iron Pictures, so I'm uh, really interested in this 80s film, martial arts film. It's uh, Unmasking the Idol, PSA number 26, I believe. Now we'll get into the actual package here. I picked up The Birds 2, Land's Dead. <laughs> Seems like a TV type film. It's a sequel to The Birds from Hitchcock. Um, doesn't look very good, but I still want to check it out. I'm curious. There's some alternate art. There's the back. And there's an interesting documentary in this called Don't Remake Hitchcock's Movies. That I don't want to check out. That could be the gem out of this edition. But yeah, I'm always up for some killer animal features, good or bad. So there's the birds to land, land's dead. Next up, we're going to go with uh, so the double feature hot snake and guns and guts. So they're bringing westerns now, the vinegar syndrome. I'm really excited about that. I like my westerns. Um, one thing iffy about this is it's a uh, Rene Cardona Jr. And I did pick up that Cardona box set which was very bad. I didn't care for it at all. So I'm hoping uh, he could revive himself with these Westerns. Real nice art on them. Get some alternate art. I don't know why this guy reminds me of David Carradine for some reason, <laughs> but it's probably not him. But yeah, you do get a double feature of um, Hot Snake and Guns and Guts. There's the inside. That's the same art as the outside. Can't wait to check this out. I like some westerns. Hopefully it's not not a letdown. So we got Hot Snake and Guns and Guts. Next up we got the box set, Forgotten Jelly Volume 5. Uh, I collect these. I like my jelly films. Jello. Real nice art. I like that art. You can see there we got a white dress for Ma Marielli. Marielli. Topic of Cancer, Nine Guests for a Crime. I like the way these open up. You get some top art as well. Real nice edition, volume five. Who would have thought they'd still be going? <laughs> but I like my gel jelly films. There's the disc, the case arts on each individual edition. Yeah, pretty stoked. I like my jello films. These, these can be hit or miss, but it's good to have them in sets like this. I really like that. Slide in there and there you go. It goes all together like that. Real nice set. That eyeball with the web really stands out. It's Forgotten Jelly Volume 5. And next up here we got a 4K. We got the Incredible Melting Man. I'm glad I held off on that because I almost picked up the, the Blu-ray. And this is the 4K. Real nice art. I, I like this film. I've seen this one. Thought it's a lot of fun. The practical effects are solid on this one. And it does have the more notable cover art there. In the back. Some special features there. You get the 4K Ultra HD. As well as the Blu-ray. I want to check the transfer out on this one as well. It's incredible melting man. Love that art. All right, so now we're gonna get into the partner labels I picked up. Picked up a few of those. Um, I did get Summer of Blood. This is like a comedy vampire movie. It looked real interesting, uh, real raunchy and comedic. There you got the, the back art right there, just hilarious. Uh, this looked like fun from the trailer. Um, this is from Factory 25, it's a partner label. There's the alternate art, kind of looks cartoonish. Got a disc, the disc, and then you get a booklet. I'll skim through this. This looks like a cartoon as well when you go through it. Yeah, nice little vampire flick that looked fun. Summer of Blood. These are selling out fast, so I would. If you're gonna get a co you want a copy of the slip cover, I would move on them because they're they're selling quick. Summer of Blood. And next up we got faults 
I picked this up because it's it's gone now. You can't get it with a slip cover. You could just get the standard edition. But this looked interesting as well. It's like a cult film about cults. There's alternate arts from the director of the guest and your next. So a real producer. That's some good films there. Noted there. There's a the back. It's from Yellowville. Vell. I've been uh, collecting this from this company. They bring some oddball type films. A lot of horror as well. There's the disc. We did get a booklet as well. With this one. Skim through it. Yeah, it's about like a girl that gets kidnapped by a cult. And then some bizarre stuff happens. Something like that. I wanted to check it out. This did sell out super fast. You can't you can only get the standard edition now. You can't the slip covers gone. I was lucky to get that. And then we got the corn shucker what an odd title <laughs> and this is the art here plain but this film was selling too if you want a copy of this i would move on it because it's on near to sold out on the slip as well this is a bizarre looks like a bizarre like kind of creature film real creepy on the cover there and there's the back it's only 67 minutes which is interesting it's a short film but i decided to get this because it was selling out so quick there's the alternate art. It's more, I like this one better. That's a corn shucker. Interesting. This one's going to go out of print soon. So I, I would I would pick it up ASAP if you want it. So those are my, my latest pickups, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Hit a like, subscribe, comment as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Hope everyone's having a great weekend out there. This is Cult Flicks Fix 24. Back with a video. Peace.